This video shows Gamruddin Arbab Ibrahim and four young men detained by local militias in Darfur. Shortly after, they were cut down in a hail of bullets. Miraculously, Gamruddin survived the November 2023 attack and managed to make it to this refugee camp in eastern Chad. These people have killed intentionally. Justice for me is you kill or get killed. At the camps in and around Adre, stories abound of murder, rape, torture and enslavement of Sudanese by armed groups in Sudan. Nearly everyone here is demanding justice. The International Criminal Court says it's investigating while victims and their lawyers wait. We have evidence from both the sides. The accused even took images and posted and bragged about such crimes. Some of this evidence collaborates with what we hear from survivors. Doctors working with the survivors say some may be permanently damaged. 10% of them, they use it to suffer from major mental health problems. And some of them, they will suffer from behavioral change that render their ability to, to function properly, proper, uh, properly. And then some of them, they use it to experience post-traumatic stress disorder. Years after the first cases of genocide in Darfur, only a few people are being tried. Victims say they still see their oppressors walking the streets. Activists and families say thousands of victims died waiting for justice that never came. They say the lack of accountability for crimes committed in Darfur is what's emboldening perpetrators of other crimes in Sudan. Many here doubt they will live to see justice done. The same atrocities and the very uh, bad and hazardous uh, crimes happened in the Palestine happened also here in uh, Darfur. We need justice from ICC to try to start. But though powerful forces are behind those accused of such crimes, survivors like Gamruddin insist justice must be done. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Adre, Eastern Chad. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.